let's hop right in with new Orcus support. Sing a new song with Orcus. Now, these come out in the Quarter Century Trinity box. This is what it looks like. I have no idea when exactly we are going to get these cards, unfortunately. Um, not really any info out there on when exactly or what kind of product for us will correlate to these cards. But uh, we will find out whether these cards are good or not. Now, I want them to be good. I am an Orcus fan. Uh, I, I feel like Orcist is uh, is one of the cooler decks. Um, I mean, it's it's old at this point, right? It's five years old, 2019 or something. But I've always been an Orcist fan. I uh, I like Orcist a lot, so I have high hopes for this. And first things first, we have a Link One. Everyone's favorite support for any deck is a Link One monster. And um, <coughs> I will say, even without any text on this thing. Orcus getting a link one is dangerous because you can now link off like harp horror and it's in the graveyard right like normal summon harp horror link it off there you go combo is set up right like that's insane already that they decided to give Orcus out of all decks a um a link one now let's go or a Galatea I, the Orcus Automaton. So it's just mini Galatea. Uh, Link 1 Dark Machine Effect Monster, which points to the bottom left. It takes any Orcus or World Legacy Monster to Link Summon. You can only Link Summon this card once per turn. Cannot be used as material for an Exceeds Summon. Okay, so you can't just slap an, a Dingirsu on top of it. I feel like that's important for balancing. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. You can send a card from your hand to the graveyard, add a World Legacy monster or orchestrated babble from your deck or graveyard to your hand. If this card is in your graveyard, you can banish one other Orchest card from your graveyard, special summon this card. Okay, this card is phenomenal. This card is very, very good. Um... Now, people are going to react to this differently depending on whether they like Orcus or not. I like Orcus, so I like the fact that this is good. Um, I don't think it's... Like, this card is very powerful. The reason why I like it, though, is because Orchestrated Bobble specifically... Orchestrated Bobble, Bobble specifically is one of my favorite cards... Not ever, but like, my favorite part about Orcus is the way it interacts with your opponent, right? The way it interacts with your opponent is really, really cool by like using your Orcus effects on your opponent's turn with Orchestrated Bobble is always like the most fun part about playing the deck, I feel like. It's like a really fi fun interactive deck um, from, I feel like, both perspectives. Um, Bobble itself as a card is not that crazy, right? Because it is a, um, it doesn't do anything on its own, right? You activate Babel, it turns your Orcus into quick effects, but it doesn't, it doesn't do anything other than that, right? It doesn't like create cards out of nowhere and all that kind of stuff. It's kind of like a Salamangrate Sanctuary kind of thing where it's a nice bonus to have, but if you draw it, it's not going to be great. It's not a crazy card or anything like that. So like a Link 1 that searches a field spell that is just okay is fine i guess i mean bailings is a card that existed in 2019 and it's like fine right like it's it's of course link one that searches field spell is kind of like a meme at this point but like bailings has been a card for five years and no one's ever complained about bailings right so like this card searching babble is is fine the fact that it discards or sends a card from your hand to the graveyard for cost is both a positive and a negative right it does allow you to get some Orcus cards out of your hand. Like if you draw an orchestrated nightmare or something like that, that you can't really get out of the way, like this card allows you to do it. Um, but you don't always have a card that you want to send, right? But it's it can be helpful. It's not just a negative. It can be a benefit. Um, what I really like about this card is that it solves a problem that Orcus has been having for five years now. I mean, people haven't been playing Orcus for five years, but like, Whenever Orcus was played, whenever you were playing Orcus, you had to make a choice, which was, do I go for Babel or do I go for Crescendo with my with my Galatea set? Because you can't have both unless you draw one of them. With this card, 
you can now get the Babel. And you can um, you can just use the Galatea to get the orchestrated return or the crescendo, right? So that's good. That is an actual problem that Orcus decks had, and this card will solve it, which is always what you're looking for in new support, right? You're looking at a deck. This deck has certain problems. How do I solve them? Another problem that Orcus sometimes had is that orchestrated Babel, there was no way to recycle it. Right? There, there was no way to recycle orchestrated Babel. There's a, it's super easy for Orcus to recycle their monsters. It was not easy to recycle the field spell. So if it got if it got sent to the graveyard somehow, you um <coughs> you couldn't really wait, Babel sets itself? Wait, what, what was Babel again? Orchestrated Babel. I remember that being difficult, but maybe I was yapping. Hold up. Oh no, Babel does have an effect to add itself back, except to turn it sent to the graveyard. Yeah, no, it was... Was it Crescendo, the one that you couldn't get back? I think Crescendo was the one you couldn't get back. Yeah, I, I, I misremembered, my bad. But alright, it, it still means... Um, it still means that... If you draw Babel, you can potentially discard it for other effects and then get it back later, uh, which is decent. The um, the other interesting thing, I guess, is that this will also be a quick effect. Both of these effects will be a quick effect on the opponent's turn, right? So, for example, if you set up Babel with this card on turn one, it then ends up in your graveyard. You can bring it back out on the opponent's turn to get another body to potentially link with IP Mascarena or something. And you can also use this effect um, again on the opponent's turn, right? If you have like, a, let's say you have a symbol skeleton in your hand that you really want in the graveyard to um, to bring back your Dingirsu on the opponent's turn, this card can make it happen. So that's cool. And then we have a Link 4, which is in Lil Girsu, the Orchest Mech Knight. Okay, so it's an Orchest and a Mech Knight. I don't know if that has any more like additional implications for other decks, but we'll see. Level four, uh, Link for Dark Machine, twenty six hundred. Top right, middle left. I mean, you you see where the things point. Materials: two plus monsters, including an Orchest Link monster. You can only use the first and second effect. <coughs> you can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. Target one of your banished Orchest or World Legacy cards, add it to your hand, then you can shuffle a card from your hand into the deck to take control of a face-up monster your opponent controls. If this card is in your graveyard because it was sent there from the extra monster zone this turn, you can banish it, send one card on the field to the graveyard. Ooh. Now, this card, once again, this card is pretty cool as a boss monster for Orcist, considering that both of these effects will be quick effects if Babel is up on the board. Now, Babel being up on the board is going to be a lot easier with um, with this new Link 1, right? You can basically always end on Babel plus Crescendo and then summon the Link 4. And what that ends up having, like what, what you end up having with this is you'll have a... Uh, this thing gives you follow-up because you add a banished Orcus or World Legacy to your hand. You steal a monster, quick effect, non-targeting. And then if you, let's say you, I think the dream scenario, the dream scenario is probably ending on this plus IP Mascarena. And if you end on this plus IP Mascarena, what you do is you use its effect to take their monster. Then you use IP Mascarena to link this guy off so it hits the graveyard, which then enables the second effect, which is also going to be a quick effect under Babel, which says if it's in the graveyard because it was sent there from the extra monster zone this turn, which it was because you link summoned with it on the opponent's turn, banish it to send the card on the field to the graveyard. Non-targeting. So this card alone can, like not alone, but this card with Babel and IP Mascarena can give you a steal, follow-up, and a non-target send. That's pretty good. Um, but that's already it. Unless there is more to be revealed, 
so far there's that's the only two we have now i'm a huge fan of these i'm a huge fan of these um but i want to i want to say two things i want to say two things these cards are phenomenal because they they they, they feel right for Orcus. They, they feel like Orcus cards. This feels like it keeps the identity of Orcus intact. Like, this is exactly what the Orcus deck is about. That's exactly what I like about Orcus is like, slap down that babble and have a lot of really fun interactions on the opponent's turn. Uh, like, sending cards from the field to the graveyard, taking control of cards. Now, I think this is cool. I like this. Uh, this looks really, really fun to play with. I'm looking forward to it. The caveat to that... The caveat is that um, I'm not sure if this would do more. Like, I, it's hard to evaluate for me because I would definitely try Orcus with these cards. Does it make Orcus more powerful than other meta decks at the moment? Maybe, but maybe not. It, it's still like basically you set up, a, you can set up a crescendo um relatively easily so i'm thinking like what what your opponent would obviously have to try to get rid of the, your babble right if they can get rid of your babble then uh it's really really rough for you so like in case anyone is playing like cosmic cyclone or something like that you would have to hold your crescendo for that cosmic cyclone right but uh that's fine i guess no, it's definitely, like, what I like about this is it doesn't feel, like, completely broken. It doesn't feel like this will make Orcus unstoppable tier 0 kind of level. But it's definitely the kind of support that will 100% get me to grab my Orcus cards and give them another spin. Right? Like, that's what this does. This, this makes me want to play my Orcus cards again. And I feel like that's what support is supposed to do. These are really cool. I like these. Um, yeah sick um whether there's more orcus cards whether there's more orcus cards or not remains to be seen we'll we'll find out i guess but um for now this uh this looks dope very cool start